in Canada, there's some pretty good evidence that the housing market is finally starting to turn over. Mm -hmm. Is that an equivalency to what you enjoyed before the making of the movie? It's not an equivalency. I mean, I, the, so sub, a, the subprime market is uh, not <clears throat> nearly as big in Canada as it is was in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But you know, the Canadian housing market has gone up a lot higher on a percentage basis than the U.S. market did. So it's, it's ripe for a, very, a pretty severe correction, I think. Okay, what do you mean by severe correction, Steve? Are we talking like 10% or even 15%, 20%? I think 15 20% down. I mean, the sales in uh, Toronto are down around 30% at this point. Uh, there's some regulations that are going to go in at the end of this year that I think are going to be very, very negative for the housing market in terms of mortgage volume. Uh, I think 2018 is going to be a very crucial year for the Canadian housing market. Okay, is, is it still, um, what's the canary in the coal mine? So Tom and I kind of, you know, talk or try and talk about this a lot. Is there a sign that we should be watching out for for when it starts? Like I said, you've already started to see some signs. That there's this regulation that's going to go in that's going to make it more, ex more difficult for people to get mortgages in Canada. And that will go into effect right. at the end of this year. And then you'll start to see the effect of it next year. Tell me about the distinctive features. We mentioned European, and we'll do U.S. banking here in a moment. Canada takes immense, almost Swiss pride, and they've got these big monolithic banks, four or five major banks, TD and the rest of them. How does that play into excessive home prices in Vancouver? I mean, can I mean, you short the banks to be blunt about it? I mean, you, you can. I mean, the bank that is probably the most, I wouldn't call it at risk in terms of uh, death and destruction, but at risk in terms of earning is probably CIBC because they have the most mortgage exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Canadian banks are pretty well capitalized. It's a, really an oligopoly. It's oligopolistic pricing in mm -hmm. Canada, which has its positives and its negatives. Um, you know, Canada's not going to crash, but they'll, you know, Canada hasn't had a credit cycle in, in 25 years, and I think they're about to have one. 